I'm Babuga in Alapa. We're sitting here in South Africa, enjoying a beautiful, beautiful day. We've been stalking buffalo this morning. Big game hunting is exciting. The spot, the stalk, the excitement of getting close to an animal and, and trying not to be busted. Softly, please, softly. Watch your steps. That's a very strong thrill. Hello, Eric. I've watched all the videos and seen the excitement that goes with it, everything from a long distance shot to the shots where the, the bull is coming in on you. With this dangerous animal, you just don't know what's going to happen. They ran off. They saw us. They saw us. They moved out of the original position and then they saw us. A beautiful day for a stalk. Absolutely. We just, just happened to spot a herd. It's back here. There was a couple smaller ones, but there's one in the middle that was real long. Real, like, deep and long. Yeah. Didn't take too long to find him. <laughs> yeah. You know, Luke wasn't going to be able to come on the trip. He had football practice, and he, he loves football. And He's been working out all year and just really focused on that football season. I said, buddy, I love football too, but I'm telling you, this is such a unique opportunity. Look, you're only going to shoot the buffer if it's standing broadside. One third to put the body on the shoulder. Remember, take your time, relax, squeeze your trigger. Good on the targets. You actually don't want to know when it must surprise you the bullet when it goes off. Take your time, you'll get it. Yeah, the tail is known for its uh, big uh, Cape buffalo, uh, big trophies. The specific area we hunted in was a, about a 10,000 acre farm and they've got about a population of 300 buffalo in the area. Yeah, it's always an exciting hunt, to hunt, to, to hunt buffalo. He's a young one. He's, not a, he's a big bull, but not mature. The bosses are still soft. Cape buffalo should be on every big game hunter's bucket list. Cunning, alert, powerful, and deadly. These are truly the hunts of a lifetime. Having already taken several buffalo in my days, on this safari I shared the experience with two hunters pursuing their very first buffalo. My son Luke and our friend and Bray's Island neighbor Mark Ingram. The first step on any quest for dangerous game is to find the right outfitter. And on this safari we trusted our hunts and our lives with Clayton Cummins of Omdende Safaris. Nice Let's go in and we'll show you the rooms and then we can take it from there. Right. Yeah. Hey, Neil? We have a lot of buffalo that we hunt in our area. It's not the easiest land to hunt, which can make your buffalo hunt very challenging. First and foremost, guys, there are lots of buffalo here, okay? So we need to be very careful. Please, just be vigilant where you go. Make sure you have your gun with you. Okay, and make sure it's loaded. It's the most unpredictable animal in Africa. And something can happen any time. Luke is a keen hunter. He's hunted a lot in the, the American West. He's made great shots on mule deer in Utah and Colorado and... Good hit, good hit, good job, buddy. And he's, you know, he's getting to be busy. He's, he's playing football, so the falls get to be chewed up by school and sports activities. And I like to grab the base and just grip the rifle. Yeah, I did the same thing. Yeah. God and country right here. These are really special times when you can get out and just doing something like this that really does bring a family closer together. I mean, dead on. Like, on. Perfect. Like, could not be more on. It's really special stuff we'll look back on and go, there's no better use of our time and our money than something like this. So really excited about it. A Cape Buffalo hunt is never to be taken lightly. And before I would let Luke, my son, take on this challenge, he had to prove he was up to the task. And, and so he just immersed himself in the entire experience. I said, buddy, dangerous game is a very different thing. You gotta go in with a very different mindset. You unleash a bullet, you're, you're setting into motion a series of events that you can't reel back in. So you're putting lives at risk if you don't take a good first shot. 
So it all comes down to that first shot, and he goes, Dad, I get it, I get it. We saw a herd of about 10 bulls. We had a look at them, and we saw that there were a couple of them that were shooters. I saw a couple of these nice bulls. There's one big bull there. Hot boss, yeah, it was a hot boss. We uh, decided to go up the mountain. The wind only allowed us to go up the mountain. We had a good stalk. We stalked them for about 30, 40 minutes, and we got pretty close to the buffalo. Just gonna wait it out, see what's happening, but that's a big bull. The one on the right, quartering a bit away. We're sitting there 60, 70, maybe 80 yards from, from the buffalo, kind of split up in multiple little groups. Can you see it, Luke? Oh, no, there's branches in the way. Luke came up on sticks. He's looking at the buffalo, and I could just tell he wasn't comfortable, and, he's, and he told him, he said, look, I got to get it in a better position. I've got some brush here. OK, let's go a bit closer. Let's go a bit closer. And so they did. They slid down a little bit further. He got a, a more open shot. OK, now they You still see him? Yeah. Had Luke on the sticks sitting down. The buffalo never knew we, we were there. That's basically the one in the middle now. Yeah. And yeah, we waited for them. They were bundled up. After about 10 to 15 minutes, they opened and we had an opportunity to take a shot. OK, it's moving away. Should it remember behind the shoulder? It's going away like this. Just behind the shoulder. Should it take it? Take it. On the shoulder. Shoot again, shoot again, shoot again. Shoot him again. Shoot quickly. Shoot him. Again, again, again. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, he shot it. A very good shot. Afterwards, wait, 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 I asked wait, wait, him to wait, wait. put in another couple of shots in the shoot, buffalo and... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. As I told him, I said, look, as long as they're standing and you've got bullets and you've got a clear shot, take the shot. Shoot him, my friend, on the shoulder. <laughs> and, and so the thing didn't go 10 yards and, and piled up. Right here. The buffalo went down. We walked closer and gave him the final coup de gras and... There he is. Oh, the buffalo was dead. It was a very exciting hunt. Luke did a very good job, but it was very nice to have him and his father there to witness the experience. Wow. Congratulations, young man. Well done. You're a buffalo hunter. Fuck you. And it was just this culmination of an amazing moment. You know, all the hunting time and all the experience that you go through teaching kids and shooting and understanding the game itself. He, he was almost speechless. Well done, bud. Congratulations. Congratulations. He was just in the moment, like this was a big epic deal in my 16-year-old existence, and I'm gonna absorb this without talking, without much. And it was, it was pretty cool. You happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I passed on the opportunity to hunt big game on this trip. I was just an observer. But as I watched Luke take his first Cape Buffalo and truly soak in the entire experience, well, for me, that was the ultimate trophy, a memory for the record books. Why is this kid smiling? I'll give you 2,000 pounds, why? <laughs> Good morning, sir. How are you? Good and you. Are I'm, you ready? I'm ready. Great. Today's the day. Today's the day. It's a new day, and now that Luke has taken his first buffalo, the team was focused on helping Mark Ingram find a trophy bull of his own. Mark is a good friend and Bray's Island neighbor who shares a passion for hunting. He has traveled the world in pursuit of big game, but this was his first hunt for Cape Buffalo. Hunting Cape Buffalo has really gotten on my radar screen in the last year or two. Uh, I've got several friends at Braves who have hunted a huge number of buffalo, and 
And uh, after hearing their stories and seeing their amounts, I, I finally decided it was time for me to do it as well. And we spotted this buffalo on a side of a mountain and we decided to put a stalk on it. So we drove up high so we could come down the mountain on it. We got to a, a location where we were probably 75 yards away and... On the left of that tree, right? Yeah, they ate this, he's facing left, they ate this down. As we moved around this bush, they moved off away from us. They didn't see us, but they moved off. So we circled back around above them to try to cut them off on the other side. And sure enough, there were two bulls side by side in the, the tall grass. Do you see it? All right. One bull was facing us. This bull is very old, but it's got a gap between his poses. Yeah, I see that. But it's very old. The, the horns and the boss were not of the right size, so we passed on that one. We had to get the head up on the, the other one because it was turned away from us. I want him to turn his head. Finally, the, the bull on the right picked up its head and turned and looked at us, and we decided then that, that was the bull we were going to take. OK, now he's broadside. Right below the horn. Now he's facing us. OK, in the middle of the chest. Good shot. Dead. Good shot. They will go down. Let's just wait. He's got the heavy bosses. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. So you saw the impact? Yes. Center? Center. Good. And then we heard the, the death bellows. Did you hear it? That the death bellow? And uh, we knew then that the shot was successful and the bull was down. Hello. Death bellow. Did you hear it? Very cool. What really got exciting was the first bull, the younger one that we did not shoot, decided he wasn't going anywhere. It's his buddy. Hey! He was gonna hang around next to his buddy and decided that he wasn't going anywhere so hey! the ph had to try and get him away and first he threw three or four rocks the bull would back up a step and then come right back hey! it didn't look like it was going to charge but it wasn't going to go anywhere so for us to get close to the killed bull he had to eventually pull out his rifle and shoot the tree and uh, the bull finally ran. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. You must just be careful for the buddies. They will definitely come back and have a look. Yeah, yeah. So just keep an eye out, but good job, well done. I was very excited that it was a one-shotter because there's a lot of responsibility being the, the guy pulling the trigger, not only to themselves, but to the people around them, that the animal is cleanly killed and that you don't have a wounded animal on your hands that you have to track in a thick brush, uh, which becomes very, very dangerous. Perfect, thank you. It was a thrill a minute. From the minute we spotted it to the minute we walked up on it on the ground, it was a thrill. Right. In any pursuit, the true challenge is pushing yourself to the limit and achieving goals that once seemed impossible. It doesn't matter if you're a young buck in your teens or an older bull with graying hair, travel far, aim high, and dream big. 